Wildcats got off to a hot start on their first drive where it was the Johnny Knox and Billy Malone show. The duo hooked up for four occasions on the drive that was capped by this 22-yard touchdown throw to Knox that got the ACU fans fired up early. Later on in the first quarter, Bernard Scott takes the handoff, bounces it outside, and scores. Or does he? Take another look at it, and the referee didn't think so, and that set up a one-yard touchdown dive by Billy Malone. Early in the second quarter, Scott catches the screen from Malone and takes it 34 yards into the end zone for his first touchdown of the night. The score put the Wildcats up 21 to nothing. West Texas A&M quarterback Keith Knoll just couldn't get comfortable in the pocket as he was sacked twice here and the ACU defense hounded him all through the first half. <laughs> just before halftime, quarterback Keith Knoll throws an interception to ACU's Craig Harris who returns it 12 yards. ACU would go up into the half 31 to seven and look to be in complete control of this game. West Texas scored on the opening drive of the second half, but Bernard Scott had an answer with this 47 yard gallop into the end zone. Both teams would trade punts and then the Buffaloes scored on this seven yard touchdown reception by wide receiver Seth Hayden. West Texas A&M pulled off an onside kick and on their first play, Keith Knoll laid out a beauty for Charlie Martin who takes it 55 yards for the Buffalo touchdown. On the ensuing ACU drive, Bernard Scott takes Malone's screen pass 56 yards all the way down to the West Texas A&M four yard line. The third quarter would end with ACU knocking on the door of yet another touchdown. On the first play of the fourth quarter, quarterback Billy Malone fakes the handoff and fools everybody for the two yard rushing touchdown, his second of the game. West Texas would keep it close with a score of their own until Bernard Scott shut the door, taking this one 65 yards to pay dirt. This put the Wildcats up for good, 52 to 35. This marks the second time this year the ACU has unseated a top five nationally ranked team. And Bernard Scott broke his own LSC record for all purpose yards with 407. He was also named the LSC South Offensive Player of the Week. On the defensive side of the ball, Craig Harris had two interceptions, six tackles and a forced fumble and was named LSC South Defensive Player of the Week.